So, so you you want to do a documentary about him? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He if they AIDS. down me, y'all better ride for me, man. <laughs> and he if they AIDS. down me, y'all better ride for me, man. Y'all better burn something down, man. Come I come on. up falling off the building or something, man. Rapper Nipsey Hussle was set to meet with LA police today to work on stopping gang violence. <laughs> Instead, the community is mourning his passing. The artist gunned down in broad daylight in front of the clothing store he founded. Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. So if I had to outline this one here for someone coming in from mainstream media land, um, I'd have to tell them that overcoming cognitive dissonance happens in stages. And if you can't pick up everything, you know, I'm about to put down, then don't beat yourself up, okay? It's okay to be behind as long as you're making the effort to keep up. You know, I'll continue to reiterate that. Now, if you're already versed in the more nefarious underpinnings to this, this may be review for you. Uh, but while events are still unfolding, there's already a lot to look at, all right? So by now, you've probably seen the clip of various interviews featuring, you know, rapper Nipsey Hussle and Dr. CB, the focus group of today's topic, basically. And if you haven't, that's okay, you know, we'll, we'll get there. Nipsey Hussle was going to narrate a documentary on Dr. CB's, you know, 1980s trial. You know, and what's crazy, I'm, I'm working on doing a documentary on the trial of, in 1985 when Dr. Sebi went to trial against New York. Right. Because he, he put in a newspaper, he cured AIDS. Yeah. Did he, did he, did he, he beat, beat the he case. case? And he went to federal court the next day and beat that case yeah. on record. Yep. And nobody talk about it. He was a man who was able to cure AIDS, HIV, sickle cell, you know, all that. Back in, you know, 1985, I think it was. And he cured 13-something patients. And this is proven stuff, all right? The, the state came after him, and he won the case, okay? Charged in New York City with practicing medicine without a license. You were ultimately charged, indicted, and taken before the New York Supreme Court. And I would l advise my viewers who might be questioning your authenticity that you won that case. My mother knew they were coming. When I told my mama that I had cured my 13 AIDS patient, she said, they're going to get you. They're going to get you. So let me stop you there. You said I cured my 13 AIDS patients. Yeah. So you had 13 patients yeah. who had AIDS. Yeah. And then you say we cured. you cured them. Sure. And unfortunately, we've seen holistic doctors that rise even to a moderate level of prominence. They've t been taken out, right, dying in strange ways uh, for a while now. And most of them, you know, they get got before their process can ever gain widespread momentum. And, and there's a reason for that, right? The pharmaceutical agencies and the companies out there. So if I have this right, and just looking at the cursory evidence, what it looks like is... Um, Nipsey Hussle was was going to narrate, you know, this documentary focusing on these trials. He was essentially going to bring light back to Dr. CB's work, something that was, you know, covered up and uh, was being suppressed by, you know, special interest groups. You pick your poison. He was going to essentially shed light on this and it bring it to a group of individuals who don't typically look into unconventional information or alternative narratives. Followers in the millions, okay, who aren't typically looking into alternative narratives or unconventional information. And he was going to bring that information to uh, an untapped group, right? Untapped potential uh, for this movement where people are waking up. And the system is adapting to that. The way they try to adapt to that is by suppression or you have your agent provocateurs, you know, your infiltrators who lead people astray, right? And basically what we're looking at is controlled opposition for individuals who know things that happen, you know, in the mainstream that don't pass the smell test. The system knows that. The system knows there are people who consistently are beginning to smell the fishy odor uh, that coming out of the skunk works of this, you know, new world order. And in order to en encompass those individuals so they don't pose uh, as much of a threat to the system, they put controlled opposition out there to lead them astray. But when we have people who aren't inclined to do that kind of thing, we have people who are trying to actually do good, you know, like we saw uh, Nipsey, he was going to try to cut down uh, on, on gang violence, right? And that's another element of this. There's a lot of underpinnings to this. It's not just the fact that Dr. CB's work was going to be brought to light again, and, and you know, the, the pharmaceutical industries were going to be under scrutiny. They've long have been taking these holistic doctors, you know, the ones with GC math and other ones who have cured cancer, uh, and all they did is, is they put them into either fetters of societal scorn, right, or social stigma. It's the same thing. 
And if that doesn't work, again, before they, they gain any real momentum, uh, they get got, okay? In, in, in mysterious ways. Look at this. You're, you're talking about a multi-million dollar industry at a time right now, especially in the United States, where uh, they're pushing this, this medicine on folks, right? Like the vaccines and everything. They're, they want you to get away from the idea that you can do anything naturally, uh, anything in a way, you know, with a lot of this stuff that can't even be patented. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no money there. But another one of the elements are, um, you know, the gang violence he was aiming to reduce and how this looks, right? You, you've got people out there who are saying, you know, we want retaliation, right? They, they, let's go out there and, and, and get our revenge, right? Because they think this is just strictly gang related and, and, you know, no, man, it goes deeper than that, okay? This is, it goes much deeper than that, right? Wasn't the body found, you know, five shots in the body, one in the head, military style, something like that? Like I said, you've got the one element, you know, suppressing the holistic medicine, the, the whole, the science that shows uh, the herbs and natural remedies can heal you permanently, okay? That's one element of it. Now, this other element where they're trying to essentially have excuses to militarize the police force, you know, and bring these totalitarian reforms and legislations and, and things like that. So what do you do? You try to put the people against each other with race wars. That we've, that's what we saw with Smollett trying to instigate, you know, right around uh, Black History Month. Very dangerous narrative he was he was painting there. Okay, and now we have this, this assassination. What this does is it causes a riff in the community. And now somebody who was acting as this liaison of peace trying to stop this the the momentum of the of the of the gang violence and stuff now you have this effort by you know the powers that be to nip that in the bud that's basically what this was but it's interesting though because even though they're trying to to silence you know the holistic side of the medicine and they don't want you to look at alternatives and, and even though they're trying to get people at each other's throats by taking out these strategic individuals people are still waking up um you know the people out there in the hoods and the gangs and and, and the folks who who are in those circles are saying hey don't don't go, don't go out there and retaliate this was a setup. This does not pass the smell test. They're doing this to manipulate you. They're doing this to control you. There are folks out actually out there saying that they they don't believe this happened organically uh, the way the media is saying it happened. They're saying there's more to this and have better judgment with with what you want to do with with what you think you're getting ready to do. I mean that right there gives me hope. It helps me to realize that there are people out there who can see past some of this stuff and can still serve as a voice to say, look, don't let this be a time to divide us. Let this be a time to come together because we need that more than ever, especially if there's campaigns trying to drive a wedge between folks. And I'm saying this because if you are from the hood, do not, do not, I'm saying this for the Bloods, Crips, anybody in the hood, do not start shooting at other hoods. Do not start shooting at other hoods. That is not how you handle this. The enemy has been all in this. And again, this stuff is nothing new, but the fact that I mean, these initiatives and campaigns to try, you know, the psychological warfare and the, uh, the social engineering, none of that's new. But the fact that people are waking up, that is, right? God says he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh, right? I think in a lot of ways that's what we're seeing because this is spiritual warfare. This comes right down to spiritual warfare. You know, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, right? The rulers of darkness of this world. This is, this is what I mean by uh, it's not just men in business suits uh, sipping whiskey and smoking cigars that are doing this. It's much more nefarious than that. And when something happens like this, it's often multifaceted. So yeah, you can quiet Dr. CB's work, you know, bringing, like I said, I, I think it was going to be a great thing, bringing this unconventional information, these alternative narratives to an untapped group of individuals who typically don't look at that type of stuff. That's great. You know what I mean? And then even the individuals in, in out there in the hoods, in the neighborhoods who are, who are you know, in, in, in the gangs and stuff who are saying, hey, don't fall for this. You know, let's not go out there half cocked and try to retaliate when we don't know what's happening. That is good stuff right there because people aren't falling for it. OK, so you've got this. It, it, it is. It's a mixed bag. I understand. And one way, you know, the, the powers that be are, are, are trying to, you know, nip this stuff in the bud and, and keep this stuff suppressed. But then on the other hand, you have individuals who are actually seeing through this. So they're shooting themselves in the foot because people are now looking at this and saying, oh, he was trying to bring this to light. This doctor was doing this. This stuff exists. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say it again. A mixed bag. Uh, I have mixed emotions about this one, but I, I like the positive undertones. OK. We, we already understand the, the, the nefarious implications here. I want to point out that there is positive undertones to this. 
you know, it's a shame with what went on, you know, around this um, situation here. It's an absolute shame, you know, suppression of uh, alternative information, trying to spark gang wars and unrest in certain areas. You know, this is just par for the course for the agenda. And it's sad, you know, but there are those positive undertones that says that, you know, people are waking up, people are saying this isn't, this isn't what they, what they're trying to make it out to be. And that is a good thing that shouldn't be overlooked. Now, this isn't going to be the last time I touch on this. I am going to go ahead and sign off now, but we're going to come back to this. Okay. We're going to come back to this and we're just going to keep on showing how this agenda is unfolding okay they can bust down your door and force a cocktail full of chemicals into your child's arm they can go out there and kill people who are trying to make a difference in communities and you know bring unconventional and alternative narratives uh, to untapped people you know and our, our, our president can endorse a, a ban on, on bump stocks okay and just a few moments ago I signed a memorandum directing the Attorney General to propose regulations to ban all devices that turn legal weapons into machine guns. I expect that these critical regulations will, these critical regulations will be finalized, Jeff, very soon. We see this, the infringement of rights, even from this person who was supposed to be, you know, bastion of truth, leading America into the right place. All this stuff is happening at once. It's kind of scary, you know. Anyway, California Carter, signing off.